Did you know you can use your own USB storage with the Xbox Series X or Series S, saving you $200 over Microsoft's own external storage? Here's how. So the new next-gen consoles are here, and Microsoft turned a lot of heads when it launched its own expandable storage at quite a sky-high price. Now actually, not all storage is created equal, and Microsoft's own drives are actually hyper-fast SSDs, which operate exactly as if they were internal storage. Now that means you can play games from them, and they support features like the quick resume, and also those really fast loading times. The solution I'm showing you is a lot cheaper, but it is different and won't support those features. So what do you need? Well, of course, you need an Xbox Series X or an Xbox Series S, and you're going to need a USB drive. That drive has to support USB 3.0, and it has to be at least 128 gigabytes in size. When you plug a new drive in for the first time, Xbox will ask you whether you want to use it for media or whether you want to use it for games and apps. If you do want to use it for games and apps, you're going to have to format the drive, which will wipe it completely. You can give your drive a name if you want, or you can just carry on with whatever it spits out. And you can then choose whether you want to save new games directly to your drive, or you can keep it at its current location inside the Xbox. Let's stick with that. And then head into your settings, go down to System, Storage, and there you'll see your new external drive. So now it's been formatted and it's actually showing up in your console, you can go to your games library. So now you can choose the game that you want to move. Well, I highlight the game, I press manage game, and then I click on it and go move or copy. This is then gonna bring up the option of where you want to transfer it from. In this case, we wanna keep it as internal and transfer it to our generic drive. And there we go. It's gonna start moving that game from our internal storage it's really handy because it's not deleting the game or any of the save files. They're still there, saved carefully on an external drive, freeing up more of your internal space for some of the new flashy games that you've got using the Xbox Game Pass. While you can use your own USB storage, what you're really doing is archiving those old games, moving them from your console onto your storage and then moving them back when you want to play them again and then your game will be back on your console ready to play. So as you can see, it is easy to swap your games in and out, freeing up space on your internal storage. Now it's particularly important if you've got a slow internet connection, you don't wanna to have to spend hours and hours or days even re-downloading a 90 gigabyte game. But odds are you're not gonna be able to play those games from your external storage, so don't expect to just be able to move Forza Horizon 4 over onto a USB drive and be able to play it just like as if it was on the console. If that's what you want, you will need to spring the money for Microsoft's own storage. But hopefully this has been a useful tip. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like button and make sure to keep your eye on how to do it all for a lot more tips just like this.